Welcome back. And now for the news in detail. The World Health Organization has extended its COVID-19 global state of emergency by three months as worldwide deaths cross 684,000 and confirmed cases near 17.8 million. The U.S. has reported over 60,000 cases and 1,051 deaths in the past 24 hours. In Iran, another 208 people have died from the virus overnight, raising the death toll to over 17,000 with more than 300,000 cases. More in this report. With various vaccines still in the works, the coronavirus pandemic is devastating the Americas, parts of Africa and South Asia. As the U.S. struggles to slow down the spread, the virus continues to rage across Brazil and Mexico, hosting record daily infections. As deaths in Colombia surpassed 10,000 with more than 300,000 cases, authorities have reassured that those needing medical aid will get treated. We are going through a painful moment, of course. There is no collapse, absolutely not. Whoever needs to be hospitalized is able to. Whoever needs intensive care has access to it. People who finally pass away, well, it's a very painful process. It's a difficult mourning process for the families. It's difficult because they have to grieve in absence of the body. South Africa has surpassed 500,000 confirmed cases, representing more than 50% of all reported infections in the African continent. Over in Europe, Italy's daily infections dipped under 300 after a three days high. Greece has confirmed 110 new cases in the past 24 hours, the highest since April. In Australia, the second most populous state of Victoria has declared a state of disaster following a continuous surge in new confirmed cases. It's not a tap that you can just turn on or off. Uh, and they're not decisions that would be taken ever, would ever be taken lightly because there will be significant costs associated with even minor changes to the rules do come with a significant cost, but numbers are too high uh, and there is uh, a growing case for us to do more.